Hey ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Nono Films. Today I'm going to show you guys the new iMovie update that was just released on April 23rd and I'm going to show you guys in this video how to update and also the basic some details regarding the update or basically well all of the details that we know regarding the update. So go ahead and go to your app store and application, go to your rightmost tab and which is, says updates and make sure you are signed into your iTunes account. Now once you're in, go ahead. You should have an update here waiting for you. It says iMovie 10.0.8. Go ahead and hit update. And I'm going to show you guys. I already updated. I'm going to show you guys what it fixes. It resolves an issue that could cause iMovie to quit on launch. Basically, when you open it, sometimes it crashes. I know this happened to me several times. And I hope it completely stops with this update. And it also updates compatibility compatibility with sharing to YouTube. Um, I've had several questions on YouTube regarding uh, how to upload to YouTube and they're getting several errors. This should solve your issue. Be sure to leave any comments or questions in the comment section below if you are having further issues after you update to 10.0.8. So once you have the update, it's about two gigabytes, the update itself, which is uh, quite large, honestly. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys in iMovie. Let's go ahead and open up iMovie. As soon as you open it, um, or as soon as I opened it, I noticed this photos library here, which is part of the, I believe, which was part of the um, iOS 10 update, which was uh, OS 10.10.2, I believe it was, which includes the photos app basically, and it combines all your photos into one place. And I don't know if I, I don't believe I remember here seeing this in the libraries before. But if you go into your events and then into a project and you have a video all ready, for example, you want to go ahead and share it at the top right hand corner and you want to share it to YouTube. And all the settings here are the same. Basically, you're going to change the quality, change the name, and then you're going to change what, what status. You also make sure you sign into the correct YouTube profile. Like I said before, though, I do I highly recommend just exporting to file and then import. I mean, uploading to the YouTube, correct YouTube channel that you prefer directly when you're signed into it. That's the easiest way. That's the way I personally do it. But you can go ahead and try YouTube and it should easily upload to the correct channel. And just let me know in the comment section. But that's basically, that's the basics of this update. Not too much. YouTube should be, it should be easier for y'all to uh, upload to YouTube. And like I said, just leave a comments or questions or concerns in the comment section below. That's it for this update, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next video and later. Let my life be the proof, the proof of you.